show and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be sharing with you all Liam's room. I'm really excited to share with you all the little details of his space. The look that I was going for when I finally decided to decorate his space was timeless. I wanted something that would last. I really didn't want to stick with any characters. I remember when um, we first moved here, I wanted to do a jungle theme, but I felt like I had that he already had outgrown that uh, look. So that's why I just wanted something timeless uh, to stay away from characters. Maybe when he's older, I can incorporate some characters here and there, but I really just wanted something neutral, white and natural wood and pops of color here and there. And even just for myself, for my home, I'm, uh, I guess you could say a minimalistic person. I love decoration, but just not to the point where it's just too overwhelming. I love how it looks in other people's homes, but for myself, it's just, I just like clean and not too much clutter, but yeah. So I didn't want to make this intro too long, so let's get to the room tour. Let's walk into his room. I'm just going to do a quick overview for you guys. So starting with this wall over here, I have two abstract canvas pictures. The first one is of an elephant and the second one is a giraffe and these were gifted to Liam from my cousin Chrissy. Okay, so over here both of these shelves are from Ikea. And on the top shelf, I have this sweet book, The Owl Goes on a Holiday. I also just have a random candle I placed in the middle. And right next to it, I have an owl that is actually a puppet. <laughs> and I just put them all up here because I thought they looked really cute all together. On the second shelf, I got this metal rustic looking L from Michaels about a year and a half ago. I got it for Liam's dedication party. Right next to it, I got this cute succulent plant from Target. And right next to that, I got this book on the night you were born. It was gifted to Liam when he was born from his godmother, Rocky. And right next to that, I have this rock that we got as a souvenir from New York Hall of Science. And over here in this corner, we have this really cute rocking chair that Liam's grandmother made for him as a present for his first Christmas. Liam loves rocking on this thing and I think it complements the room really well. On top of the cube, I have this metal wire love you more sign. I got it from Hobby Lobby, but this actually belongs in my room. <laughs> I got it because my husband and I always say this to each other, love you more. But I just wanted to put something here. I just felt like it was too empty. So until I find something more suitable for this corner, I just put the sign there. And right beside that, I have these plastic safari animals that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I just spray painted them with gold spray paint and I just love the way they look in his room. So for now what's in the cube, in this first drawer here I just have some random toys that Liam plays with up here. He has a lot more downstairs. In the second cube I have this little teddy bear that has a shirt, Mommy's Little Prince. I got this from a very good family friend when Liam was first born. They brought it to me in the hospital. and. It's just so sweet and sentimental to me.
And in this drawer, I just have some of Liam's books. And over here, I have another stuffed animal that's very sentimental to me. It's a little stuffed elephant that Liam's Aunt Kim brought for him when he was first born in the hospital. And right next to the organization cube, I just have this wooden crate and I just filled it with some of Liam's stuffed animals. The sign above Liam's bed that says, you are my sunshine. I purchased this from, I think it was Marshall's or it could be TJ Maxx. I don't remember, it was one of those stores. I got it for only five bucks in the clearance section. Liam's toddler bed is from Ikea as well as the bedding. And the huge Stuffed animal duck was a present for Liam from my mother for his first Easter. And over here is Liam's little reading corner. I wanted to create a space that would be just somewhere he can sit and relax. These bookshelves are actually spice racks that I purchased from Ikea and I just fill them with books that he is currently loving at the moment. And the pillows, the stuffed animals, and the fake fur little rug, they are all from Ikea. And Liam just loves this little corner. He loves to just sit back and read his books and play pretend with his animals. I'm so glad that I created this little space for him. This is definitely my favorite area of his bedroom. This sign I purchased from Hobby Lobby and it is a Bible verse. It says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. And I absolutely love this verse. I love it for Liam. I also love how rustic it looks too. But anyway, I just love what it says and I love how it's right in front of his bed. So even though he can't read right now, when he gets older and he will be able to read it, he will be reminded every day do not be afraid. Be brave. God is with you wherever you go. So I absolutely love it and I just love how it also looks in his bedroom. And this cute little table set was gifted to Liam from my mother. And I just love how cute and little it is. In the future, I saw this hack on Pinterest where you took the flower pots from Ikea and you filled them with markers and crayons. So in the future, I would love to do that for Liam when I can trust him alone in his room with crayons. <laughs> Now moving on to Liam's closet. One of the closet doors is off track. My husband has to fix it, so please excuse that. And in his closet, I just um, have blankets and towels and some of his shorts and pants on top. I also have a lot of his shirts hung up and his pants as well. I have it organized in a way. There is a method to this madness. And in the drawers down below, I just have his bathing suits, pajamas, and some clothes that doesn't that um, he doesn't fit into yet. So that is it for his closet. Okay guys, so that is it for Liam's room tour. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe if you're new. And also, please let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would add or do something different. Like, would you add some wall decals or a dresser or a lamp? Let me know. I would love to hear the ideas that you guys had. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.